Let's bring in David Bonson to talk about it. Uh, David, first question I have for you. Why, with a big miss, did we have that big drop in the unemployment number? Again, Lauren said it correctly. It's the labor participation force. And so that is by far the best part of this report. Yeah. Culturally, it's the biggest thing I've been worrying about is people permanently leaving the workforce, even apart from the economics, David. I just think that's an awful thing for our society. And so that's the one good news in this report. So why the big drop and the, the big miss on the, the overall jobs number? Um, again, I think there's a skills mismatch to those who are coming back in the workforce relative to the jobs that are out there. And so that's the part that is not going to get cleaned up by policy. It's certainly not going to get cleaned up by the Fed. It's not a monetary issue. We just simply have a mismatch of the skills that are needed for the jobs that are open. That's been a problem well before COVID, but it's been exaggerated in the labor realities of our current paradigm. And how will the Fed digest? digest this information and what policies will they institute or change or leave the same as a result of this miss? Yeah, that's one thing I kind of wanted to push back on. Um, with the idea that the market cares about the tapering, I vehemently disagree with. The market is up 3,000 points since they began saying, yeah, yeah, we are going to obviously be tapering. The market couldn't care less if they end the tapering in June or in April. They know it's happening. It's totally immaterial. The Fed's issue is interest rates. At this point, everyone knows the silly and unnecessary and unhelpful quantitative easing is coming to an end. The market has to deal with where interest rates go. It affects yield curve. And the Fed is going to want to keep rates at zero. Everybody thinks, no, they have inflation pressures. They're going to have to take it higher. I watched for eight years after financial crisis them come up with one excuse after another to not get off the zero bound. They can't afford to. The housing market, risk assets, the um, main street is addicted to low interest rates. I don't believe they're going to be aggressively pushing off the zero bound next year. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Not at this point. Not if these numbers continue to disappoint as, they, as today's numbers did. David Bonson, good to see you. Thank you very much.